Hello and welcome to Return to the Lost City, a Thief 2 fan mission by Intruder. Let's read the briefing. I was on my way to Byron, the new fence in South Quarter, when I noticed I was being followed by someone who appeared to be well trained in the arts of stealth and deception. This guy either has no idea what he's gotten himself into, or worse, I'm in deep trouble again. But hey though, call me the Master Thief for no reason, and getting rid of unwanted company almost counts as daily business. However, this guy was up to the task, and just as I wanted to escape using the good old thieves' highway, I noticed that he was a keeper. A couple of minutes later, we sat together in a dark corner of the South Port Inn, and he told me why he sought me out. Keepers. Why do they always bother me with their affairs? As it turned out, there is an entire district of Karath Thin buried deep beneath South Quarter, which I'd never heard of before. The district was discovered by a Keeper exploration party shortly before the incident in Old Quarter. The Keepers who were scheduled with the task of exploring and mapping out this district even built a small Keeper chapel and were working on some other project too. Unfortunately, this part of Karathin was struck by a series of he heavy earthquakes during that time and nothing was ever heard of the Keepers again. A rescue party, sent shortly after a severe quake, was not able to make it into Karathin as all paths were blocked by debris. All members of the initial exploration party were declared dead and the entrance was sealed again by the Keepers. Due to the events in Old Quarter, this sealed off section of Karathin was soon forgotten again. Recently, however, a young Keeper scribe stumbled upon some notes about the first exploration party in an old book, and the Keeper Council decided that this matter should finally be investigated. This is where I come in. Thanks to my expertise, the Keepers want me to find a way into the sealed off section and to unravel what happened back then. Although I wasn't really fond of the idea of risking my life trying to get down there again, this Keeper soon directed my attention to something more in line with my own interests. The Keepers offered to buy anything valuable I might find in Karthin to prevent me from selling to some ruthless fence. As if I would care about preserving the heritage of the Lost City. Damn it! I wish I'd never gone down there in the first place. They want me to find the buried Keeper Chapel and discover what happened to the members of the first expedition. The entrance to this path of Karathin is located somewhere here in Southport, in one of the local sewers nearby. Finding the entrance shouldn't be a problem. Getting into Karathin, however, might turn out to be more challenging. Official documents dating back to the time of the incident also mention an abandoned iron mine, which was sealed off decades before the first houses of South Quarter were built atop it. With a bit of luck, some of the mine shafts might provide me with another way into Karathin. I just hope the whole place is still intact. Otherwise, I might risk my life for nothing. Well then, let's begin. The keeper with whom you sat in the tavern mentioned a sewer beneath Southwater housing. A sewer beneath Southwater housing a hidden entrance to the eastern district of Carathin. Get down into the local sewers and search for the entrance. According to some 50 year old keeper notes, the exploration party built a small keeper chapel which serves as the base for further exploration. Locating this chapel would probably be your best option for finding out what has happened to the keepers. Find valuable items worth 850 as a compensation for your efforts and for risking your life. Return to the streets of South Quarter when you are done with all your tasks in Carathin. If you survive, dun dun dun. Alright, what if we turn the difficulty up? We get 1250. You could go up to experts. Rumour has it that there is a certain item buried in Carathin for which any fence would pay a nice amount of money. The item is called the Mask of Vatarak and should be located in a sacred temple. Find this artifact. Ooh, well, let's hope the loot goal isn't going to be too tough, because I think I want to do that extra bonus objective, so I'm going to go for expert. Given that this is the lost city, you know, my usual reason for avoiding expert is so that I can, you know, kill my pursuers if I'm in too tight of a corner, but in this case, A, I don't see that I know kill objective yet, um, and B, the Lost City is maybe mostly just like Borix and Crayman, right? Right? Nobody minds if I kill them. Well, the Crayman. I'm not going to kill Borix. That would be mean. Right, let's begin. What do we want to buy? How much money do we have? 800. What do we have? A few water arrows. 15 broadheads. This is, near, this is a situation where a few more offensive weapons might actually be useful. They're pretty cheap. I might get a bunch of those. Breath potion. 
Why does it look like a different colour? It should be blue. Healing potions I almost always need, right? Flash bombs, maybe not. I, I really don't know what I'm getting into. Um, flares is disturbing, but I don't like flares. I think flash bombs, I mean, flash bombs are useful against humans, but not so much against anything else. I mean, I don't know, maybe there are style keepers down there. Forming a weird keeper. Splinter civilization. One hundred left. It's two water arrows or four broadheads. Let's try this. Any interesting news? Menu: mashed potatoes, cabbage, and pork cutlet. Five vegetable stew. Three. Two pieces of pickled herring and bread. Bread, cheese, and pickled cucumber. Beer. Dart tournament. Every Tuesday at 6. Entry fee. One copper coin per person. Price. 12 beers for free. Fries. Sorry. <laughs> You're not eating that, are you? <laughs> Apparently not. It's not safe to let Garrett into any pub. Don't worry, there's nobody here, man. Terrible wine. Alright. Oh, you get no medals for false alarms. Oh. City Watch is not going to be happy to see me. me man on what arrows you're not hiding anything behind this banner are you who's there D did you say something go back to sleep <gasps> it is quite a solid banner isn't it maybe it's just surprising but maybe that's just Way the archetype set up, I don't know. For some reason it makes me suspicious. I like I'm hunting for a switch to to move it, but I never mind. Just make sure we don't walk straight out into that archer. Human sound like a door. Okay, what's going on here? Shit. I didn't realize you'd turn around that so soon. Again. Uh, 
We're gonna have to run down the street when they come up here and turn the back. Alright, I can do that. We I mean, might be able to maybe hide in some of the shadows along the way, but it's uh, not really clear. I think that does kind of look like a gas arrow. Just trying to see if there's any obvious way up there. I see wooden beams. I see wooden beams. get down. I think I need to wait for this guy and drop on his head. That's the only way to get down safely. Let's see if I can time it properly to land on his head and not. Over your head! Oh. Oh. Got him. Finally. <laughs> well, I didn't die, I don't say. That's the most important thing. Let's go some embarrassment. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm meant to be getting up there because there didn't seem to be anything up there and there's no good way down. Yeah, it's the same wooden beams up here too. But nothing, no reason for Alright. I guess I go to the sewers. Where's, where's the ladder? Hey, Reddy, how are you? 
Nothing you're hiding in the sewer water. You never know, I lost variables up and wash down the drain, don't they? to be going, so... Hello? Somebody down here? Mr. Corpse! <laughs> Me up, he washes away. Ron, where the hell is the key for this gate? I'm not able to find it anywhere in our office or workshop. We need to get into the lower sewer at once, Miller. Well, uh, you may not be able to get in, but I can't get in either. Where the hell is the key to the gate? Question. You didn't have it on you, did you, mate? Oh, you just had a purse. <laughs> well, what do I do now? I mean, I have a city watch key. That's not the one, surely. I don't know why I kept it. It's not going to be useful for anything. Office or workshop? Enlighten yourself. Or read a book? Or light a flare. It does seem to do nothing. Maybe one of the books is hiding something. Maybe I need to light the torches. Can I? Can I light a torch with a flare? I don't know. If you can. Better than a fire arrow then. Aha. Nice. So torches are you good for something? I mean, flares are good for something. What's up with you, ma'am? Your weird glowiness? Alright, fair enough. Um... Oh, hello. Secrets within secrets, huh? Keepers. Oh, this is very nice. Some more tools? Moss? Never need moss, I think. 
Like fire arrows. Even a crate if I should want it. And let's uh, pretend we didn't... Actually, you know what? Let's actually grab that crate. It could come in handy. Let's pretend we weren't there. What I was saying is getting down from here might be, without hurting ourselves, might be a little difficult. But I guess if we can land on a crate, then, uh... The statue's actually pretty big. We would have landed on the statue, I think. But, you know. Ah! <laughs> when did I last say? Uh, I forgot about that. Oh, shit. All the way back here. Alright, well, no problem. Keep us in their traps. If they don't get you coming, they'll get you going. It's pretty funny, honestly. Thinking I was clever to notice it the first time, and then it's like... Oh? Wait, do I have the city watch key? Yes, I have been in the city watch room. I'll leave the city watch key here. It's kind of the suggests of them that. Well, you know what? Maybe it'll be useful for something else. I don't know. Maybe I'll hang on to it for now. Who knows? Maybe the city watch. Maybe there's a lost city watch that has the same keys. Oh, I didn't read the note. Other reason to come here. Blah 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 blah. Where's the key? Well, you might think the keepers might have it. Ha ha ha. I don't know if that would show up normally anyway, but I think it only shows up if I put that. Okay, no to fell. Mind that's itself. Alright, where's my flare? Again. Yeah, I wouldn't have found that secret if I hadn't just been looking at the stuff here on the ground, so it's... It's really one you, I think you're sp supposed to find, but it could still be missed. Let's do this again. I'm trying to get down safely. That's just fine. Alright, now this time, let's try not to... Fall to our deaths, shall we? Can't seem to close this door again, so let's just try and pretend it's not there, huh? Yeah, that's not gonna fool anyone. Oh well. Onwards. See, that key consumed itself. So you watch one didn't. That's even more suggestion that I might have a use for it later. Hello? This is all boarded up. Can I break down the boards? I mean, it's bricked up and boarded up. The answer is yes, I can break the boards. Is there a reason to? I mean, apart from wanting to destruct it. No. Ah.
This does look like the caves. So this is almost certainly the entrance we have been looking for. So a good time to leave a reasonable save. I thought, oh, I, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Thief 1 jumping mode, which is, of course, partly, partly because, uh. partly because this is a lost city, which was just in Thief 1. Um, was this, I thought I saw something up there. Maybe there was something up there. I don't know, maybe it's just a light. I was I was talking while trying to navigate and trying to notice things and they don't really go together well. Thought there was something on one of these ledges, but no. Oh sh oh well. Problem solved. Right, let's do this properly. Thief, the gravitational project. Right. Being a little more aggressive there it works. This is the way it's supposed to be done. It's actually not that hard when you don't try to be too clever. Right. It's not too much more of that, that would hurt if it landed on my head. Any, any information at this at this camp? I mean, there's a bone. <laughs> Deep vibe. We are neither able to proceed further into Karastin, nor are we able to reach our brothers, who are most likely trapped in their chapel. The intensity of the earthquakes is continuously rising, and most pathways are already blocked by debris. Yesterday, we tried an alternate route using the passage leading from the obelisk to the outer city wall. We had to abandon the attempt after one of the tunnels almost collapsed upon us. We're going to wait here until things have settled down and try again tomorrow. Day six. When my fellow keepers and I awoke this morning, we found ourselves confronted with yet another obstacle. Yesterday's series of earthquakes seemed to have caused massive amounts of water to leak into the tunnels before us, flooding them entirely. Now we are not even able to reach the obelisk again, let alone proceed any further into the city. I'm afraid that the water may rise even higher and flood this entire area as well. There's no way to reach our brethren who are still trapped inside Karthin, and who may be dead already anyway. Keeper Jesper gave orders to retreat back into the sewers and to seal off this entrance at once. The earth started to shake violently again and I can hear the stone grumbling below our feet. We should get out of here now. Well, north or south? I don't have a map, of course. I can see why there would be that breath potion now. Okay, that's gonna let me proceed. But I want to explore a little more. What are these bubbles coming from? Nothing. They're just bubbles. This looks very bad. Maybe I should have brought that breath, bought that breath potion after all. Okay, could be just all right.
Interestingly. So the other way the other way had a waterfall and some ledges. Where does this take me? Seems to go even further. Huh. You're not gonna try it. Probably regret it. Come on, Garrett, swim faster. Swim faster. Swim faster. Don't drown for the sake of 180 gold. That's not 180 gold. Okay. So this way has... <laughs> I know I'm doing the terrible... I'm doing the terrible thing of, of going, you know, you know, doing a kind of not quite depth, not quite depth first search. I'm going, kind of going a little way, feeling it out a bit, going back the other way, going back the first way again, and so on. Um, I do like this swimming through caves, so it's, it's always a fun thing to do, always. It's got a good sense of risk and adventure to it. You never quite know where, how far you can go, where the next bit of air is going to be. And honestly, with the dark engine geometry, swimming through caves is uh, a lot easier generally than uh, walking through them if you want to have Gonna have interesting geometry for, for a cave. <laughs> ah, more spiders. I wonder if it's the same one. It might just be the same one. Or a friend of his. You know what? I'm not gonna waste arrows on them. Maybe I can sneak attack him with my blackjack. Sneak attack him with my sword, that works better. Ah. Oh, well, there's more spiders down there. So this, this is interesting. I seem to have two completely different ways to go, unless... Unless the other one also comes out in this cave. It didn't seem to. Hmm, maybe the other one actually came out down below. I don't know. I did get down a little. This is a little awkward. <laughs> Somebody's been here, and they're not here anymore. I mean, I guess they're still here in a way. Don't have any other kind of equipment, do they? I could bypass the spiders entirely and jump into the pool. But you know, I don't like leaving them hanging around. Come on. Thank you.
little crawly thing. There's a big spider there. That one I'll use arrows on. Well, have the leftovers of its dinner. Okay. <laughs> so this does make me wonder where the other passage came out. Oh, this one's got a rock here at the bottom. Not hiding anything, is it? Nope. So, do I just press onwards and, and forget about the other passageway? I mean, I guess... I guess that'd be the sensible thing to do. Just want some backtracking, it's not to help you find whatever it is I'm supposed to find. Everything. <clears throat> I can hear lava. I think I'm on the right track. Well, that makes me... That really makes me... Whoa, hello. Please far enough away not to light me up. If she doesn't seem to have a light attached at all. It's unusual. Okay, um I'm gonna throw another save here. I'm actually gonna try and make it back because I am now extremely curious. I would have expected the, like the two paths to like branch a little bit and then join up again. Just because that's kind of a very traditional level design thing to do. Maybe I can't get back. It's a little too high. That's not the that's not the way to climb. Is there anything on that ledge? Or that one? No. What was I saying? Yeah, like the whole Two, two branching paths that turn out to both lead to the same place and just gives you... I don't want to say an illusion of choice, but a choice that in the end doesn't really matter. Um... It's a very common level designing thing to do, and it's how I expected this to work. And it's not working that way, so I'm curious to know what is going on. Why we have two different parts? Both of which appear to lead us towards a destination somehow. Oh, again, like there was the notes. The keeper's notes suggested there might be more, one more than one way to reach the city from where they were. And I suppose that could be all it is. It's just the other way the keepers might have gone. Garrett. <laughs> Go 
ってそれで、できやすいなって。どうぞなんか、結局、衝撃するニュースだな。It's interesting, there's a lot of water. I mean, I'm below the level of all that water, but none of it's leaked in here. I guess that's pretty good. It would be pretty. Oh, there are craze. I'm not getting back this way. He seems to have collected the skulls of a few people. Possibly keepers. Shh, I didn't realize he turned around. I'm pretty lucky it's dark and you didn't see me. I would have thought their eyes would be adapted a little more to the dimness of cave. I guess not, but I see a nugget over there and I want it. Wait until he turns around again. Otherwise, he might see me. Well, you know, it doesn't matter if he sees me. No. Also, he didn't see me. I was worrying for nothing. Do some more swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Are you coming this way, sir? How far this way are you, are you coming? Quite some distance, okay. Keep clicking happily to wait to yourself, sir. She's going in a circle, yes. <laughs> That's the obelisk that the keepers were talking about. So this path also leads to the city walls, I see. Skulls too. I mean, I would. They're, they're you know, kind of nice, round, shiny objects. Uh huh. More, uh, more lava. Let's hope this bridge is safe because I don't see any other way around it. Well, it didn't break. It did uh, I drop a lot of rocks on it. I hear a break. Here we are, we are definitely. This was the Lost City Walls, I guess.
place I've seen better than this. I don't want to go look and catch this and see me breaking into the room here. Where it's light still functions. Oh, speed potion. Could be nice. to expect. Apart from barracks, obviously. Couldn't even hear him. <laughs> yeah, there's a room brushing back here. Spider. Good work, Barracks. See? This is why Barracks are good. Alright, now do we go north or south? Or okay, east or south? I don't know. Guess I'll try to keep, continue going east. Maybe just try and get to the other levels here. jump across there. It's, it's hard to say because again I'm just completely in uh, heat one. Heat one jump distance mode. Oh god. Is there anything in here? No. Oh no, well, is that wood? That is wood. I guess I can get up that way. Dead rats too. They didn't even eat them, they just killed them. I don't think they're not wanting to eat the spiders. I mean, my little sticks aside, I really don't believe they taste good. fear of being detected just because you know but I do have a certain pungency to them. Set now than he was before. He probably got spooked by my uh, I 
that jump? No, apparently not. Thanks. Can I get up there anyway? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. I have quite a large loot goal to fill, so it does seem to behoove me <laughs> to explore this place thoroughly. More board heads. Bike friend come down this way? He does indeed. Shot of planking. Can get up here. Some crystals embedded in the uh, rock. Is there anything over there? No. Sorry. Okay, this does go somewhere more, somewhere further. So now I have another. <laughs> I have two dangling flowers not explored. I want to get north. this fellow. <laughs> Just because. It's more hidden, it seems. You know, maybe it goes somewhere more interesting. Giant plants, floating rocks. More damn spiders. Up with this place. All these dangly paths means that exploration is gonna be necessary. These gates aren't gonna open. Just so I think, in order to meet the loot goal, if all there's all these different paths, it's gonna be loot spread all over the place. That's going back further into the city, so let's see where this path goes. This other path. With the floating rocks and everything. No, they're, they're quite normal paths here. Yeah. What if all going up the lava? That's that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, back to scattered bones everywhere. What has been doing the thing here? Spiders? Oh, okay. So keepers have been here. There we go. 
I mean, the rain just meant I was missing out. Alright. Got one of the medallions. Just where the heck did Florence go? Been searching for her for almost six hours. Still haven't found any trace of her. I think I'm finally onto something here. There are footprints on the floor of the tunnel leading to the northern part of the big temple. Based on the trail of footprints I've found, I assume she went into the temple. However, I don't understand why the big temple door is closed. Maybe one of the recent earthquakes damaged the door mechanism and locked her up. I have to hurry up and get that door open in case she's trapped inside. First, however, I have to sneak past the free beasts guarding the gate control room. One of those beasts caught me and chased me up into the lava pit cave, so I had no other choice but to take the risk and jump off the ledge, hoping to be able to reach the other side. There seems to be another cave or tunnel of some sort that I might use to hide from the cray beasts. Just hope there are no giant spiders lurking inside. Well, it doesn't look like the giant spiders. Well, I mean, they are pretty pretty large by our standards, but yeah. Doesn't appear that the giant spiders were your uh, problem. Oh, get me back here, it's gonna be the, the fun bit, isn't it? I guess it's not too bad. They're nicely placed. And if they're nicely placed and the physics didn't destroy me. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find out where Florence went. Florence! Are you here? You'd be pretty old by now. It's not creepy scouting the gate control room this time. That looks like maybe if I replace the gear. I was gonna say if it's another one, but that one was not part of the mechanism. Looks like it still works. So this gate does open, that's honestly quite a surprise. I wonder what secrets it will reveal. I don't know. You'll have to wait until the next episode to find out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you then.